Look at the beautiful colors and the marking itself. The art is amazing. More special towards the head and it's got those lion stripes. Just look like perfect. If you look at towards the head directly, it looks like they have a triangle shape. Stripes. Zebes is one of the species that are common here. Yeah. Pacha zebras lot more common and they really have those wonderful stripe excuse me I'm sorry for that black and white shade stripe they have which is brownish it helps the species to blend and out into the bush especially if they get hunted during the day as you know that um, our predators most of them are black and white in vision during the day so these species when they move because they're more bushes are more like grayish in color when they move and the depths and the sh when the bush itself is more like black when they move it's really it's easy to bre break an outline of the species itself it looks like the bushes are moving Amazing. Remember when we get to elephant sighting, I was mentioning something about the blood, I mean body circulation of the species. Dark gray or black color is for absorbing the heat. The white is to reflect, as we all know that the species of zebra is one of the good species when it comes to body circulation. The color that, or the art that they have on the body itself, it helps quite a lot when it comes to body circulation itself. They have black, they have white. If it's hot, they really reflect a lot of heat. If it's cold, a black it can absorb. And also absorbing and reflecting at the same time, the body circulation of zebra is perfect. It doesn't have problem, doesn't need to go lie down inside water or wallow in the mud that doesn't have to be it can be here yeah, out in open it won't be a problem or although the species by that nature you find zebra in the very low grass in the open terrains is where zebra function most of the time if you go more south southeast from main cheetah plain area east of east south of bush lodge you're going to notice more than 100 or 200 ze zebra all in total because they really prefer an open terrain if you look at the female that she's got a very fat uh, belly uh, she is pregnant as you can see there few of them look like pregnant and also this species one of the species that really is amazing it could be drought into the area you will never ever get to see a zebra collapse because they are having a bacteria on their stomach which it produces a lot of gas they eat quite a lot of grass but it helps the gas itself to fill up the sack too they always sustain a drought season it's checking here yeah. it's amazing most of them are the female. I've started, uh, it looked like all of them down there. If I look at them, uh, are females. It might be the one stallion, which is right at the back here. All of them, five of them are all females. Only one male. He's a lucky man. He was able to mate with five females all together and you know that stallion a little bit of interaction to try to stop with a baby water bug a little bit of interaction with uh, Zebis and the baby water bug 
push them away and run across the road immediately stop like that still young but uh, they can sense danger into the surrounding the ball like having that instinct to know that the really get hunted by leopard and lions. Ears are always moving back and forth, checking around if anything coming close by, they can let the mother or run away to get at the mother. So, as I said, you alala wasala, you snooze, you lose. If you don't check around, you get killed. <laughs> Running out because the zebra coming so close. As you can hear them, a little bit uh, snoozing, indicating danger. Look at the zebra, that baby is a danger. Back to the zebras. The zebra that protect themselves from predators by running away. <laughs> 